What's going on, guys? We're gonna we're gonna jump right into our first libgdx tutorial here, and uh, I'm hoping you guys have a good understanding of Java if you're jumping into this, because this is gonna be focused on game development, seeing as libgdx is a game engine. But um, you just go into the libgdx setup, as you guys know. You should get this screen. Just name it whatever you want. And usually, let's say you have a mining game, usually the convention would be com.mining.main. At least that's what I do, and my game class would be main. Turn this stuff off, just leave the desktop, and then choose whatever tools you want. Go into advanced, and select Eclipse if you're using Eclipse. And don't check any of this stuff off. Or actually, yeah. You can check off box 2D, box 2D lights, tools, free type, and bullet, because we'll jump into all of that eventually. And make sure your destination is somewhere you know it's going to be, because you're going to need to import it. Alright, and then you generate it. And what you're going to do is go to File, Import, Existing Project, and then you'll just go to wherever you put it. And once you start off, you're going to have some pre-built code in here. Make sure you delete all that. And then go into the desktop launcher. That's going to be, I named my project Teach. So I'm going to go drop it down. Go into Source. Go into Desktop Launcher. Here you have the configuration. You can just do whatever you want with config. You can do config.title. I named it Poctal. You can do things like config.width and set the width and height of your um, your window. But then when we come here, we're just going to delete all the code except for this stuff right here. And you should have a one here if you didn't touch it. And what this does right here, gdx.gl.gl clear color. What this whole method does, this is your update above here. Everything above this is where you update things, and everything down here is where you're going to render things. So you would update like your player moves, clear the frame, and then redraw your player. So if you do run this, we will get a blank red screen. Great. Awesome. So if you just this is the RGB. This is what it's going to clear the frame to. What color is it going to clear the frame to? So we'll set it to 0, 0, 0. And we should get a black screen. Yep. And assuming everything went correctly, and you set it up all right, we're just going to jump right into our first little object. So you're going to write public orthographic camera, whoa, camera, camera. And then if you do control shift O, it'll import everything. And you need to import that, so... And then write camera, we'll initialize it, equals new, uh, I almost wrote initialize, orthographic camera. And here, it's not going to take any parameters. But, okay, so what your camera does is it allows you to adjust where you're looking at in your world. So whatever is in within the bounds of this camera is what you're actually going to see. So... We have just one more thing to do, set to ortho. Set, whoa, set, whoa, set to ortho. There we go. Okay, boolean y down. This is probably the only thing in here that's not self-explanatory. What this means is the camera has a coordinate system. Your world has a coordinate system. So what it's asking is, whoa, my bad, just to bring this up. What why down is asking is, do you want your coordinates to start at the top left or the bottom left? So here or here. And we want it to be here. We want it to, your Y coordinate to increase as you go up. If you're up here, it'll increase as you go down and your images will be all flipped. So we want it to increase how we were born or taught to see the coordinate system. And now it needs the width and height. We're just going to give it the width and height of our screen. 
So now we're looking at the width and height of our screen, just the screen, which is exactly what we need to do. And assuming you want to eventually move your camera around, we need to update it every frame. And we're gonna, in this tutorial, we're gonna tackle it one thing at a time. So for here, it's where I'm gonna end it, and in the next one, we'll talk about images and stuff. So see you in the next one.